So what kind of rhythm is this? A dotted rhythm. Dotted rhythm. How do you divide dotted rhythms? Into twos or fours. Great. Okay. Uh, I think last time we started talking about a way to practice this and uh, something to think about with um, relaxing, right? Okay. So I gave you an exercise. Relax. 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 So you say the word actually. Okay. Now do it without saying the word, but really, really relax. So Really nice. I'm going to let you live with this for one more week. I want to see if you can still make it more beautiful, actually, and more relaxed. So. Trying to find the vibrato, trying to find the relaxation, trying to find the sound a little bit warmer and that sort of thing. Okay. So that the, the notes are really catching, that the bow is really catching on both the down and the up, okay? But that was good. Uh, do you feel like you're really relaxing with your arm? A little as you're doing? More the last time. Yeah, a lot more. It's, it's looking and actually was sounding really good before when you do the theme. Let's do the theme one more time with all the dotted rhythms, you know, just all straight through as a performance. Some of them aren't speaking yet. Yeah, just fig try to figure out what you need to do. And it, it, the hard part is that every note has a little bit different properties, you know, so you have to know, you have to be able to predict that a certain note needs more weight or less weight or whatever. Good. Dotted rhythms are hard for string players, and you have to keep, you know, their focus, your concentration on lots of aspects of different things in playing, and you did a very nice job there.